Zebedee is buying a lot of real estate in The Chosen Season 3, but where is it going? What is the purpose of this plot line? This is what we're going to discuss in today's video, and uh, I'm going to share a couple theories that I have. So uh, if you have any theories about this issue, then be sure to let me know down below in the comments. Uh, with that said, let's begin. Hello everybody, my name is Eli Hollingsworth, and as always, welcome back to Against the Current and the Chosen YouTube channel, where today we're going to be discussing Zebedee's oil press. Now, when I was first watching the Chosen Season 3, um, I was just kind of confused about this plot line a little bit. Like, a little bit, I was like, just, what is the purpose of this? Zebedee is, is going around buying an oil press and buying an oil um, place, and they're spending a lot of time on this plot line. And I was just really kind of confused. I was like, this, is, this doesn't seem to be having that much at all to do with the overall season or any, really anything with the rest of the show in general. I was like, this is a lot of time spent on something that doesn't seem to be having that much effect on anything else other than just a way to help Jesus' ministry. And I was a little confused by that. Um, but I just had a recent revelation that I think could uh, contribute to what this plot line could be leading towards. My theory is that Zebedee's oil garden, Zebedee's oil press is going to be the Garden of Gethsemane, or have something to do with the Garden of Gethsemane. Okay, it has to have something to do with the Garden of Gethsemane, because otherwise I don't see a whole lot of reason to be spending this much time on this particular plot line that doesn't seem to have too many ongoing effects or ripples in the rest of the story when it comes to the chosen season three i mean maybe you don't have to see what happens in season four and so on but right now it just doesn't seem like it has a whole lot to do with the rest of the show and i don't know what the purpose of it is so with this theory that it's going to have something to do with the garden of gethsemane i think it has a lot more purpose to this plot line now something i do want to address uh, i'm sure most of you know who the snipe life is because youtube tells me that that's the number one channel that you guys watch uh, which is kind of weird. I, th I would think it would be The Chosen, but I guess you guys watch The Snipe Life more than The Chosen. <laughs> um, but s I know most of you guys know who The Snipe Life is. So the other day I was on his live stream, and I mentioned kind of this theory, and he pointed out how the Garden of Gethsemane, it's in Jerusalem, the Mount of Olives is in Jerusalem, and it's a few days away from Capernaum. Okay, but I've really been thinking about this a lot, like a lot, a lot. I've really been spending a lot of time thinking about this. In the Bible, the Garden of Gethsemane is described as a place where Jesus and his disciples would often meet uh, and gather to pray and, and, you know, do all the things that Jesus and his disciples usually do. Um, and it was a place where, obviously, Judas would know that Jesus was because Jesus went there. So then Judas would, to make it easier for Judas to come and find him, uh, to arrest him and uh, crucify him and so on. Um, so this was a place that Jesus hung out often with his disciples. So if Zebedee is somehow involved in this olive grove, which is the Garden of Gethsemane, it would make sense that Zebedee would be the one who owns it because, you know, being the dad of two of Jesus' disciples, it would be easy for them to hang out in, uh, you know, something that related to Zebedee. If you notice in The Chosen Season 3, when Zebedee goes with Tamar and Mary uh, to purchase this olive grove and kind of start getting it organized because it hasn't been in use for a while and there's a guy there who uh, his father owns it and he hasn't really been tending to it that well who is the person who haggles with the guy to show Zebedee how to tend to the olive grove none other than Judas Iscariot himself uh, just interesting that he was the main person not just because he has the mind of a businessman and kind of got trained in this way where he's able to haggle and he does a lot of haggling and all that stuff it just a lot of the pieces kind of fall into place I've really been thinking about this and it doesn't make sense to me why this plot line would be included and again have so much time spent on it if it's not building because remember everything in the chosen they write backwards they write and the story is already complete essentially you know because we have the book uh, so they're just kind of writing backwards, and the, what they're doing now is setting up things that are going to pay off later in the show. So again, if there's a plot line that you don't think is working that well, or you don't understand where something's happening right now, just wait until the show is finished, and it'll probably be paid off in a very satisfying way. But, you know, since again, since we have the entire storyline completed, and they're just writing backwards at this point, everything is set up for a reason, and everything has something where they're headed with it. So I think this is another one of those plot lines because it really makes sense for Zebedee to be the owner of the Garden of Gethsemane. Now the thing that, again, I mentioned the Snipe Life said in his live stream that 
It doesn't make sense that the Garden of the Gethsemane is in Jerusalem. The Mount of Olives is located near Jerusalem. And it seems where everything is taking place in the Chosen. In season 3 thus far, all of this olive growth that Zebedee has is in Cap- Capernaum, which is days away from Jerusalem, nowhere even near in the same area. Um, but the Chosen has had these middle, minor little continuity errors in Season 3, um, which aren't a huge deal, but it seemed, when you start to think about them for a little bit, you know, uh, maybe it doesn't make the most sense, like certain Jewish holidays are super close together when they would normally be much farther apart, which means a lot more time has passed than actually has supposedly passed in the show, and a lot of people are confused about what kind of the time frame is and where we're at in the timeline right now. Uh, which I understand that doesn't really bother me that much. I'm not really looking for the exact timeline of every single event. I'm just kind of going along with the show. So that doesn't bother me as much. But, you know, if everyone's pointing out all these continuity errors, um, this this might just be, you know, something that maybe wasn't uh, meant to, maybe is meant to be near Jerusalem. And maybe, maybe they haven't even, you know, no one's definitively said that this olive grove is in Capernaum. Although we've had Tamara mention that Mary talked to some all great vendors who are in the region, it's still very possible that the, this could be in Jerusalem where they are at it. Like they they took a few days in, and again, it's, it's very unclear kind of what the time frame is for certain events. So they could have taken a few days to go to Jerusalem to this olive grove that Zebedee is building. You know, there's no one. I don't, I don't think anyone has any evidence to whether it's definitively in Capernaum. And um, it just makes a whole lot of sense to me, this kind of theory, that Zebedee would be the one to own uh, the Garden of Gethsemane. Now, the Garden of Gethsemane is a big deal. It's a, I think it's a pretty big olive grove, so it would take a long time for his business to expand. But again, this is only season three, and we still have f- three more seasons until it actually happens. So it just makes a lot of sense to me, and this is just something that I was thinking about, and um uh, maybe wrong you know i might be wrong about this but let me know all that good stuff of what you think about this theory down below in the comments and let me know do you think this is a plausible theory or do you think i'm just totally off the rails and totally crazy i'll see you guys in my next video get used to different i was one wearing you found me i was not the one you see and the only thing that happened was this stranger in between